Moving up our chart of the top selling cars from the year 2000 and at the number 8 position is the Renault Megane. A recent facelift has added more purposeful lines to the styling of the Renault Megane, although some cruel critics have said that the cutouts at the front of the bonnet make it look like a sort of weird jack-o'-lantern. Well, at least the front of any of the Renault range now form a distinctive image in your rear-view mirror when one's behind you. If you're tall, you may find the seats rather uncomfortable, and very uncomfortable if you have to sit in the back. Now, what is it about these car designers? Don't they realise that full-sized adults have to sit in the back of cars as well as the front? An extra inch, believe me, would make all the difference. Now, where have I heard that phrase before? But behind the driving seat, once you get used to that position, you'll enjoy a perky on-road experience. I'd even say it was fun to drive. It's a car that loves to be thrown round corners. Thrown around responsibly, I hope. Though you'll know that if you were involved in an accident, caused by somebody else, of course, because the revised Megane has had excellent crash test results. The Renault Megane, number eight in the top selling cars of the year 2000.